My name is Farah Mateen. I'm Erica McKenzie. And uh, we're uh, talking about the smartphone EEG to diagnose seizures and epilepsy in our mm -hmm. implementation country is in Bhutan. EEG is electroencephalography and it's used to diagnose and monitor epilepsy. A standard EEG, this machine can cost about $20,000 whereas our device costs $200 to $300. And it's portable, easy to use, and as I said, low cost. So it's really effective for countries like Bhutan where there are no neurologists who are practicing to look after epilepsy and also where there is limited resources. So the idea is instead of bringing the patient to the healthcare center or to the hospital to take the technology to the patient via community healthcare workers, and the way it works is this is the hat. So you can see here their uh, electrical uh, leads and they receive brainwave tracings. Um, and then it has a box where all the signals are processed mm -hmm. and it talks to this uh, smartphone or tablet-based app mm -hmm. and it has a little uh, connection here and if you mm -hmm. turn it on you can see where uh, the EEG signals are being recorded mm -hmm. and you get output and you send it to your neurologist to read. So this is for uh, people with epilepsy or with suspected seizures and uh, this can present anywhere from the newborn period, so the first day of life, all the way to the very elderly. So uh, epilepsy presents throughout the lifespan, but it often first presents in childhood. Mm -hmm. So people who have seizures, um, we know in many countries there's a profound amount of stigma. There may be prohibitions against marriage, going to school, mm -hmm. getting a job, driving, other things that are uh, fundamental to life as we uh, consider normal. And so um, we want to be able to diagnose seizures, allow people to get treatment and go on with their lives.